Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's ignore the mess that's going on behind me. I have to fold a lot of laundry, but I just got out of the shower and I need to do my makeup. So we're gonna be getting ourselves ready for the day. I am having guests over tonight at my house. So I kind of have to clean up and get myself put together and maybe go to the grocery store to get a few items that I'm missing. So I thought we would start off the vlog today. I did go to the gym, which is why I washed my hair and got myself nice and showered. And now I made my chai latte, my chai tea, and we're going to get ready. So let's get into the glam. So I figured I would use this. I haven't used this in a minute. <laughs> Okay guys, it's the morning time and I am so exhausted this morning. I don't know why. I actually saw this TikTok or like, I don't know, this like video that was explaining that women need 10 hours of sleep every night, which is why we wake up more like drowsy and exhausted than men, which I feel like makes sense. I don't know. I feel like we do need that extra, those extra like few hours to, I don't know be more rested according to science that's what they're saying so <laughs> i'm kind of blaming it on that i only got like a few hours of sleep i'm so tired but we made some french press this morning hopefully this wakes me up and i had a piece of toast um and yeah we're gonna be heading to the gym i wasn't planning on going to the gym but i really want to just go on the treadmill and watch like a video and just get my steps in just like an easy way to feel like active today so that's the plan for today um i'm gonna just drink this i'm not gonna throw any makeup on i actually wanted to try this with you guys kind of an odd time to try but i picked this up the other day the milani color fetish hydrating lip stain i've been seeing this all over tiktok and i kind of bought into it i love a good lip stain i love my benetton so i feel like this possibly could be a good dupe i got mine in the shade rose rising a lot thicker than i actually expected usually i feel like lip stains are very like watery at least like the benetint one is this feels more like a kind of like lipstick i like the applicator though because it's very precise i'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we'll rub it off wipe it off i honestly don't know if i was supposed to leave it on for longer i assume i probably should have but I kind of got impatient right now. <laughs> anyway, 
we are gonna get ourselves ready, get dressed and head out before we get lazy. Workout complete. It ended up being such a good one. I didn't really plan to do glutes today, and last minute I just did a whole workout. It was a good burnout. And then I did like 20 minutes of cardio. So honestly, it ended up being a really good Sunday workout. We're gonna head out and get ourselves a little chicken bowl, some protein, and have a cute little lunch outdoors. Since the weather's really nice in LA right now, it's starting to feel like summer a little bit. I know it's barely spring, but it's starting to feel a little bit like summer. So we're gonna go and enjoy the outdoors. Also, my skin is super glowy. I mean, I guess it's sweat, but it looks pretty clean right now. So good skin day. showered and moisturized and I don't plan on leaving the house anymore I am ready for my lazy Sunday so I kind of want to do a little bit of cleaning reading and relaxing I feel like Sundays call for like binge watching a show and I've been into Gossip Girl um, and Love is Blind and all of those so I kind of want to just rot <laughs> so they call it rot on my couch for a little bit before I get into cleaning because I really just want to lay down and relax. I also really want to clean the house just a little bit. I'm not planning on doing like a full Sunday reset today. Um, but yeah, I still want to like kind of, you know, clean up a little bit. Also tomorrow I'm going to Disneyland. So I'm so excited. I didn't tell you guys, but I actually got my magic key. For those of you that don't know, it's your annual pass. I'm so excited. So stay tuned for so many vlogs at Disneyland this year. I'm like super excited. I haven't had a Disney pass in like five years. So I'm super excited for that tomorrow. But I do want to get myself organized today um, because we're going to go tomorrow evening after work and just hang out there and, you know, get on a ride or two, get some um, snacks, Disney snacks. Disney snacks are amazing. So that's the plan for tomorrow. So today we kind of have to prep for that. First. Santa's cell phone number. Guys, my wedding planner just arrived from Amazon. And I'm so excited. It's so aesthetic and nice. Like the material feels like a fabric type of like, I don't know, some type of fabric. And then in the back, it's so cute. It's already hair on it. It says happily ever after. And let me show you guys the inside in case some of you guys are also 2025 brides. So the inside just starts off with some quotes. It says, and so the adventure begins. And I like how this one was like separated into sections. So the first one is our wedding vision and inspiration. So kind of just what you want your wedding to look like. And then later on, you will get into like the specifics. So your timeline, your budget, your mood boards. Um, this also includes the mood boards for your groomsmen and the bridesmaids. So it includes both sides of the parties. And then the guest planning, the venues, and then on your big day. So I like how this also had like this is super cool. It has pages where you can create like pictures like on pinterest so it actually recommends inside to get pinterest pictures and just kind of paste them anywhere so you kind of get an idea on how you want the wedding to look and it's his and hers so both of you guys will work on this for like the budgeting side it has who your like um, maid of honor will be the best man and I love this part right here. I feel like this is going to make our life so much easier because it basically has everything listed, even things we might have forgotten about. And you get to write what your budget, you're expecting your budget to be, and then what you actually spent, and then just like some notes. And then I found this cool section that actually had a little pie chart. This little pie chart we thought was so cool. So it kind of gives you an estimated budget distribution. So what you should expect to spend on. Sorry, Olive's like <laughs> playing with pepper. But like 22% on catering and cake, which we did not expect that. 
and it just kind of breaks it down for you what you should expect to pay depending on um every like area it's like really nice and organized it's super cute it comes with so many different types of layouts so we have like this calendar layout wow i didn't even see this it even has like a whole gown guide on how the different gowns would look and even for the necklines that is so cool i just noticed they had this yeah super cute i'm so excited to actually go through this and fill it in and hopefully i think we're gonna start working on it this week and fill in at least our inspo figure out our budget and all of that but stay tuned on the vlogs with all wedding planning i'm so excited i'll have this linked below if you guys want to check it out it's from amazon Okay guys, it's the next day and it's Disney day. I am so excited. We're just finishing up getting ready and we're gonna head out to the park. It is about 3 p.m. So we're just gonna go walk around and get on a ride or two. It's our first day using our magic keys. So I'm like so excited to see how that's gonna be. I don't know if they still actually do like the physical cards or we just scan through our app. I kind of hope I still get a physical card. I just like love the like OG feeling of a Disney like passport, magic key, whatever it's called now. I used to be called a passport, so <laughs> that's why I call it that. But um, I ended up changing my lip combo. I'm gonna end up doing NYX brown and then I'm gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, NYX in Stockholm. This used to be like my favorite, favorite lip cream. It's just so natural and like pinky, but yeah, here's the glam for the day. I'm going to throw on like a hoodie because it's kind of a gloomy day and pack my Disney backpack with some snacks and my powder. So just some like makeup products and then we'll head out. <laughs> Hey, baby. 
Jones waiting for them. Guys, we sat in the front. We've never sat in the front before. <laughs> so we didn't think we were gonna get that soaked and now I'm walking around with like a big circle on my butt and my makeup got so messed up. <laughs> we didn't know that everybody gets that soaked in the front. <laughs> 